Hey there. I thought I would um, just get it together and uh, make a short little video just kind of saying my piece about America's most prominent atheist in the media probably still is even though she's dead Madeline Murray O'Hare now she took her case against compulsory school prayer to the Supreme Court in 1960 the year I was born she won her case and helped preserve the secular heritage of the United States of America and it's probably only somebody with her personality that could have pushed that through because somebody who's mild-mannered maybe somebody who's cool maybe somebody who's dispassionate wouldn't swim so hard against the stream the conformity of 1950s America so this is a, just a tribute to her 1960 was the year I was born now, although I went to Christian schools as a child, and I was compelled to pray all across America's public schools, prayer of that sort was being eliminated. And I think that's a good thing. And I'll tell you that Christians who are familiar with their Bible are knowing where I'm going to go with this. According to the New Testament, Jesus said that public prayer was worthless and hypocritical. So really, this decision by the Supreme Court prompted by a case brought by Madeline Murray O'Hare saved a lot of kids from acting like hypocrites every day and so these Christians ought to get on their knees and thank God for Madeline Murray O'Hare and as an atheist I know that I owe a debt of gratitude to her because I live in the United States and she struck a blow for secularism the founding principle of our government separation of church and state and it's because of who she was an individual who chose to make a stand and say I am an atheist and my rights need to be respected and thank goodness there was a Supreme Court in those days that was willing to stand up for the Constitution and the principles of this country anyway that's about all I had to say about it so if anybody has the mistaken impression that I don't have respect for my intellectual ancestors it's just a mistake